Hello everyone and welcome to my picking journey. Today I want to discuss small padlocks. Now what you see is the result of me trying this video already once and the video got so long that I decided to take it again. Uh, now first on the left you see two small, uh, small <laughs> padlocks that were sold in a set and I tried picking them wasn't very successful, although this one I managed to pick with this lock. And then I tried brute force on that lock and I couldn't do it on this one. Now, save the time by first of all showing you what's the result. This one, I applied pressure with those pliers and I inserted this flathead screwdriver inside the core. I twisted and I managed to broke the core into two pieces. Now, as you see, those are the pieces and except that those are some pins and springs that fell off the core. I tried to do the same thing on this one after I managed to pick it once with this rake just by inserting it and a plank sideways pressure and rocking it inside the core. Afterwards, I tried to brute force it open and then since i didn't manage i wasn't able to open it anymore with the rake now the lock still works but still uh, i think i've damaged the the pins and the internal mechanism enough so that it i can't yeah open it with the rake anymore so i wanted to show you that because those will not sustain a hammer hit and do not really provide security to the things you want to lock. Now, what do we use those small padlocks for? Maybe a drawer somewhere that you don't really keep valuable things inside. And still, we do use them. So I was curious to uh, what kind of uh, security level they provide. Now, here we're left with two other padlocks. And this one I tried to pick for a long time and I had lots of difficulties. And then I learned a lesson. First of all, even before I started, I saw that it's rusty and I sprayed some VD40 inside. Mm. Where's my napkin? I don't see it. Anyway, uh, then afterwards the key did insert very easily inside, but I couldn't pick this one. I tried using this rake. I tried using a city rake or L rake. And I tried inserting an S rake, snake rake inside and no success. And I spent a lot of time until I learned the lesson. You need the right tool. So I hope now, so it's still locked, still works. I, st I hope I will be able to demonstrate what I learned right now on camera. I will use this wave rake or Bogota looking while rake and yeah that was it you just need the right tool so at some point if you're picking a lock and you're getting frustrated that the lock is not opening especially if you're using rakes try out different rakes because you just need the right tool Blah. anyways so <laughs> as you can see i just inserted the rake and it opened now, this here is an ABUS 55. It's beaten up. It has seen some usage. And I think I found this one. Uh, I don't own the key for this one. As you can see from the side, it's a four pinner. Let's see what it takes to open an ABUS. So, same thing. I will insert my tensioning tool. The lock is uh, the padlock is locked, and let's see. 
I will insert rig and the lesson today is you need the right tool because this this is the right tool today so what I learned today is two things try out different rigs when you're raking and for things that worth something to you just don't use small padlocks that's all i have for you today if you like my content want to support me please subscribe hit like it helps a lot share my videos thank you for your time stay legal and till next time bye